Hi, I'm Phil. I'm the Butterfly Keeper here at Butterfly World. We're just off Junction 16 in the M4. And if you just look over here, we have a good crop here of Atlas Moth Caterpillars. These are about four weeks old at the moment. Um, they started off as little eggs like these. So here's another batch waiting to hatch. Uh, these will hatch in about 10 days. And then I'll put them onto this plant and I'll eat away. Uh, they'll stay on here for about eight to 10 weeks. Uh, eventually they'll be about this long, as thick as my thumb. Uh, there's one or two getting quite big up here now. And then after that, I'll just grab a couple of leaves. They'll wrap this, some silk around them and they'll pupate there. So they make a cocoon, which is a bit like a sleeping bag. And again, about 10 days, oh, anything from 10 days to sometimes I've known them to up to about nine months before they actually hatch into moths. Um, I, th I think this is just um, to make sure they don't, if they all hatch at the same time they might end up mating with their brothers and sisters so um, sort of makes it so as they can find uh, fresh blood. One of the sad things about the Atlas moth is the adult only lives for about, the male for about three days, the female for about seven days. They have no mouth part so they don't feed. So they rely on the caterpillar to eat vast amount of leaves and this fills their body with fat and that fat is passed on to the adult moth and they just feed on that fat reserve which only as I say lasts for about a week if it's a female and then she'll, she'll lay her eggs and die and it'll start all over again. So I've been successfully breeding these for four or five years now um, so what I do if I see a male and a female I'll just take the pair of them, put them in a cage. Uh, like I say, they don't need any food. Um, and usually the next day, she'll have laid about 200 eggs. And I'll just collect those, and we'll start the process all over again.